thanks for watching the Moose Scrapper channel. If you're watching this, that means you're about to watch a video on gold recovery or something about gold. Now, I just want to make a short little video, the intro of every gold video that I make, to make sure that you all know that a YouTube video should never ever be considered enough of an education to go out and do this stuff on your own. Um, it takes a lot, a lot of research to learn all the different things that could happen that could really mess up your experiment. Um, even with something as simple as recovering gold from trimmed fingers, there are things that can happen that there's no one YouTube video that can show you all the problems that could arise and how to fix it. So, hope you enjoy this video and please, please, please make sure that you check out the gold refining form. You're going to find the best information there available on the web as far as I'm concerned. Um, and make sure you check out uh, CM Hoke's book on precious metal refining. That is the holy grail of information for people who recover precious metals and it'll answer just about every question you could possibly have. Even though it was written a hundred years ago, all those same rules apply to gold recovery today. So thanks for watching. See you later. Hey Scrappers, Moose here. So I just got something in the mail from one of my subscribers, uh, Mr. Dell Sprinkle. Um, he had a question about diabetic test strips. Um, these, a lot of these, I, I don't think all of them do, but most of them do contain gold. So, what you start off with is something like this. And what you're going to end up with is something like this. It's all gold plating on there. To uh, stick in your um, HCL and bleach formula. All right, so these are, are pretty easy to take apart. Um, one thing that you want to keep in mind, though, is that you're going to need a lot of these things uh, because the amount of gold on there is so minimal, it's, it's, it's amazing. Um, but apparently people who, uh, who are diabetic and use these things can use you know, three to four of these a day. So I imagine if you, you know, put these aside and you know, clean them off, now, I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. Um, if you clean them off right after you use them and just stick them in a jar, you know, by the end of the year you should have enough to make you know, a nice little batch of, um, or a nice little BB of gold. Alright, so here you have your, your three different ones. This is what you start off with. Now keep in mind that people who use these, they use blood on them, so <clears throat> if you're going to handle them, make sure you either soak them in bleach or, um, or wear gloves. I'm going to wear gloves on this. These have a thin plastic layer on top. This is that part that says AccuCheck. And that usually peels right off with just a little bit of gentle coercion. So you can see that's peeling right off. All right. So that's the first part. The second part is there's a sticky layer on there that was holding that part down. So <clears throat> what I did was I used um, uh, Goo Gone. But I imagine you can also use like an alcohol-based hand sanitizer, and that'll take that off as well. All right, so the next step from here is going to go right into the auric chloride. So I'm going to put on my, my gas mask and uh, get that set up. All right, so what I'm going to do here, <clears throat> I'm going to um, take my glass beaker, put a little bit of my auric chloride in there, which is the um, HCL and bleach formula. It's, this is yellow right now because I've dissolved some gold in it already. Just going to put a little bit in. Now be very careful. The fumes from this are very dangerous. Alright, so now I'm going to take this strip. I'm going to drop it in. I'm just going to swirl it around. And you can see the gold is just flying right off there. So one that tells me the gold is really, really super thin. And there you have it. The gold has been completely removed from it in just a couple of seconds. So, yes, I know, I just wiped off a little bit of gold there. It's just for the purpose of the video, so... So with, with these two, I'm just going to throw them both in. Yeah. 
So imagine if you had, you know, if you use three or four of these a day, if you had 1,200 of these at the end of a year, you could you could probably recover a nice little bit of gold from that. Maybe a gram or two. Certainly nothing to retire off of, but you know, something fun. Again, you can see the gold's all completely gone off of those. All right, so there you have it. That's um, gold recovery from <coughs> uh, diabetic test strips. So it's 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 pretty. I would say it's pretty quick and easy. Um, you know, the next step, of course, you know, once you have a lot, and I mean a lot, like at least a year's worth in your auric chloride. I mean, this is probably like what 300, maybe 400 milliliters of solution. Don't even bother trying to precipitate it until you have at least 1,200 strips in here. Um, because you're going to be disappointed. You're not going to see that brown cloud form. Um, it's, it's, it's really deceiving. People think they have a lot more gold than they actually do. So it leads to uh, disappointment, thinking they did something wrong, adding tons more chemicals or mixing things up. It's just, just a mess. So <clears throat> just um, save them up, clean them up as you go. And then once you have a whole bunch, soak them in the uh, HCL and bleach, save up the bottle. And uh, you should be able to come up with a, a gram or two of gold. If you have any questions, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. And also make sure that you check out my 25,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm giving away almost $1,000 worth of tools. All I have to do is check out my channel, uh, post a price on the iScrap app, and then, or on the website, on the iScrap app website, and then go to my YouTube channel, send me a message with your name, address, and how you got into scrapping, and you're in. That's it. You're in the running. So, thanks for watching. See you later.